catchweight contest over six five minute rounds with the first fall the first submission of the first KO to decide the winner introducing in the red corner from Rochdale Marty Jones his opponent ladies and gentlemen in the blue corner from Chorley Tiger Wood So Alan Wood of Chorley, Lanks, at 12 stone 4, takes on uh, Marty Johns of, actually, of Chatterton, Manchester, although he's often billed from Oldham, and sometimes, as you heard Martin Conroy say, probably from Rochdale, but actually he comes from Chatterton. 13 stone 9, up to the uh, light heavies now. In fact, this was going to be a light heavyweight uh, uh, crown counter for the vacant light heavyweight title of Great Britain. But unfortunately, Maxine unavailable, and therefore he's been replaced by Alan Wood in the middleweight class. There he is, bearded now. Seconds away, round one. Alan Wood, the former welterweight champion of the North. He's got a job on here against the real technician in the 13 and a half stone class, Marty Johns. Marty Jones in the plain trunks and white boots. Even the skill of Alan Wood. And he's got tremendous experience as a pro wrestler by comparison to his opponent here today. It's a one fall contest. Don't really believe that Alan Wood can get too near it against Marty Jones but it'll certainly be interesting watching him try. Superb mover, Marty Jones. And he's got the stone and a half weight advantage as well. throw by Marty but uh, still counted pretty quickly by this uh, speedy middleweight in the check trunks Alan Tiger Alan Wood uh, this is a fairly quick uh, head mirror there wasn't it Wood caught most of it on his feet by Wood but he was waiting for Jones to try that one and followed right through with it almost brought off the folding press Told him you see Marty Jones pull one like that as early as round one. Six rounds, one fall decides this. And the grovet. But he hadn't got it on right, obviously, or would have got out of it that easy. legs there, Wood. He's got quite a way to turn. 
can't see Marty Jones falling for this one at any time, let alone in round one. He went onto his back, but only when he was uh, a little bit free of the legs. So the single arm stretch now to Wood. And just under a minute left in this first round of six. Cross body. That's cleared Alan Wood for the moment. The finger interlocked to a back hammer by Jones. Wood quickly down through the legs, grabbing both, but spun out before he could take advantage from it. To an ankle now, Jones. from Rochdale, from Chatterton. Take your pick because he's built from all three on so many occasions in so many holes around Great Britain. The man who turned pro is the undefeated British intermediate middleweight title holder in 72. He won the title the year before. What an amateur record this boy's got. But he's a pro now. Round two, five to go, and of course no score because the first fall decides the contest. Alan Wood in his early rounds certainly doing his share of attacking. That's Wood in the striped, the pattern trunks. Checked, I suppose is the word. Leg lock to a toe and ankle. Jones ending up exactly where he started. on the ropes please as referee Brian Crabtree oh yes great left and a great monkey climb but Wood waiting for it and Jones waiting for that chance of a full Boston Crab and another chance but double eight Nelson now folding press to Wood but he'll never hold Jones' arms. No. Double leg Nelson chance now. Folding press to Marty Jones. Ay, ay, ay. Into the ropes, surely. No, still missing. And again, Wood tries the same move. A double leg Nelson follow up. Again, Jones tries to come back, but cannot hold the arm still. And the spin out finally by Jones, but he's let go now, so he can't continue the move. <laughs> a handshake again Wood on the attack the bearded Alan Wood of Chorley submission but uh, Marty Jones gets that head out of trouble in no time to an ankle wood spin, he was trying to spin his man but he got spun himself Jones so fast on that
Two minutes left in the second. Well, that knee came up dead right and perfectly legally, but it angered Wood. Crabtree successfully cooling things for the moment, as he so often does. There's the toe and ankle again with the left knee behind John's left knee. But it turned that leg over. Uh, 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 it released. It released. And one minute to go. Wood pretending he doesn't understand, but he knows perfectly well that once he releases a hold, he cannot restart until his man gets up off the canvas. Ropes break. Jones has certainly got the strength for that straight arm left if he can get John Wood in the right position. There it is. And going for the arm, the same arm with a quarter Nelson. Ten seconds to go and another submission hold by Jones. Leg hooked under the thigh there where the arm lever right back. But he hasn't got long. Right. Alan Wood was always a little temperamental, but uh, nearly always more so when he's taking on a man a great deal heavier than himself. He starts pushing the referee on, he's really going to be in trouble. Arguing with the ref about something there. Wants to go ahead, but he's got quite a few seconds to go before the bell. Another eight seconds to go. Seconds away, round three. Round three, one fall decides it, so no score. And it's Jones attacking. Oh, oh. Really showing him around now, Marty Jones. Each time he releases the hold. Nearly always ending up on the ropes, these moves. Good body check. Jones took that intentionally, of course, and that one. But this time, Wood waiting for him, but that, not that time. Nasty time check again. Right. Again, intentionally over the top. Oh, but this time he didn't mean to do that at all. He meant to take Wood over the top with him, and not too good a landing by Marty Jones. Oh, beautiful, that knee up. Perfect timing. And he could be in real trouble now, Alan Wood, from that. Nine. Cross press. And the Alan Wood right leg through the bottom rope, just holding on to the bottom rope to ensure the break. Lucky he could reach it because he was in trouble then. 